Here we are with the reincarnated as a sword episode two. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And okay, let's get to the episode. I wonder why did do they just die before they can get strong enough or are they just not able to evolve I wonder if she gets different clothes at some point or if she always has these ragged clothes for the whole anime. <laughs> Very handy. <laughs> Cleaning him up. <clears throat> I I mean you you have to maintain your sword right otherwise it can get rusty or dull or whatever. Did he did her ear goes backward? <laughs> Intro. <laughs> what? Not what I expected from the intro. Fire in the background. <laughs> Okay, this is more what I expected. More calm. But dude, I... Looks brutal. Makes me very interested to see how dark it maybe could get, like... How much crazy stuff will happen here. Oh, she gets different stuff. Oh! small dress and she surfs on the sword in the sky <laughs> bruh <laughs> twin laser oh and she gets a big ass sheet for the sword too <clears throat> <clears throat> oh waifu and some dudes okay Oh, is, was she in front of the guys? Does she get a does she get the group? Oh. What's that? Harry. Ugh. <laughs> What's that? Holy shit. Aura blade. Okay. And he's teaching her <laughs> the skills. Oh, is this where we saw her at the end of the episode? Where she was sleeping inside a carriage? Okay, I don't like this hairy guy. He seems sus. A rank magic. Where the sword is from? 
So because he killed everyone, the monsters moved away, I think. Now they are active somewhere else. Okay. Oh, is that the one that melted him? Oh no, the one where he needs poison for, right? <laughs> I guess she is a bit higher than E. Typical adventure stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she gets excited. I mean, that's perfect for her, right? Because she wants to get stronger. <clears throat> <laughs> and that's an interesting thing that's pulling the carriage. Is the Harry guy trying to do something to her? Goo -goo. Is he summoning them? What the fuck? <clears throat> Town. <laughs> I would assume so. <laughs> okay, he checks everything. Weak. Oh, no, are they higher than him? Yeah, they are. Okay. I mean, but he has a lot of HP, right? And he can has all of these skills. His strength doesn't lie in his pure attack power, <clears throat> but in everything else he can do. And I mean, he can still grow, right? Can't he just put more skill points or more points into attack? Then he could get stronger. Oh, <laughs> I like her. <laughs> I like her. She's just like, yeah, drop dead, everyone. And she has a short outfit.
<laughs> Who's this? Oh, big axe. Oh. Hello. <laughs> yeah, but not her. That's a test if they would run away or not. He's old, he has lots of experience. Wow. Man, I like her eyes, how they animated it, how it looks from the style. Nope. <laughs> but he's fast. At least she's agile. <laughs> <laughs> the house is gone. Ow. Okay. All right. Okay, here we go. Some buffs. <clears throat> Can't he use magic to like blind him or something to get like an advantage? Ooh. And he can recover. All right. But it's nice that she's not completely overpowered from the get-go, right? She is strong, but not completely overpowered. Oh. <laughs> Try explosion. <laughs> yeah, it's the sword that's doing that, not her. <laughs> I think they won't win, right? <laughs> oh, maybe they did win. Well, she kind of has, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was cool. Okay, didn't expect it that they would win. <laughs> That's so cool, with a sword that can talk and think and all that stuff. And no one can hear it, really, except her.
The sword can. Very handy. Wood Elf. <clears throat> What's this? Oh, that's a bit creepy. <clears throat> Everything. <laughs> I mean, sword mage makes sense, right? She uses a sword and she has magic. <clears throat> I guess with that she can improve in both. Can you switch your class at some point? <laughs> Everyone's like, what the hell? Oh, I don't like him. I guess that's quite a bit of money. Oh, do they want to rob her? Damn. I hope we see more of Nell. I like her. <clears throat> What the fuck? In the guild? They don't even wait to go outside? Fuck him up. Because you suck. Oh, <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go. Beat him up. Hell yeah. Yes. Hell yeah. We have to protect. <laughs> oh. 
Can I kill him? Yes, please. Oh. oh my god. Did she activate it? Oh yes. Hell yeah. Vibration fang. She has potential. Fuck him up! Yes! <laughs> More! <laughs> yes! And now they like her. Fuck him up! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. Who is this? Oh, the dwarf. Good side. Oh. He knows. Intelligent weapon. So it seems like that he knows of that and is not completely surprised. Like, oh my god, a weapon that has intelligence. I would assume that's... There are more? Not normal, but maybe more. Dude, this... When I saw this trailer for this anime, I thought... Let's listen to the outro. Um, I thought this would be more like... I mean, we saw some battles and stuff, but I thought, okay, it will probably be some action and have some good times, right? I didn't thought that it would get this brutal or dark, right? I love it so far. Definitely a surprise for me to this point. <clears throat> Animation is good. Looks good. Interesting. I like Nell. I like the action, can't wait for more. I like that she cuts off their legs, of this one guy at least. I hope there's more dark stuff and brutal stuff coming up. Not that this is just like the beginning and then it just fades away and we won't see any brutal or dark stuff again. I hope so. I hope we see more. <clears throat> that was a thing with Goblin Slayer, at least for me. I mean, Goblin Slayer is not that... Just like the beginning was brutal and then there was nothing going on any anymore. But like for the most part, for the most part in Goblin Slayer, the beginning was really shocking. Not really for me, I think for many people, right? But I was fine with it. Um, but only the beginning was really brutal and shocking, right? Uh, and graphic. And after that, it just like up to the last episode. Some stuff happened, right, but it wasn't that much or brutal anymore. So it was just the beginning that was, like, really crazy. Uh, but like I said, it's not like that there was nothing else and everything was happy afterwards, right? Um, but yeah, I hope that's not the same here, right? I, I want that there's, like, a constant going through the whole thing, right? And not just, oh, the beginning is a bit more shocking with, like, uh, slavery and all that shit and cutting off the legs of that guy and then after episode 2 it just fades away and there's only like little glimpses of that stuff so we will see but yeah let's get to the uh, thoughts so yeah that was episode 2 let me know what you think but yeah I liked it like I said in the end now when we listen to the outro um, I like how dark and brutal it can be right with like the whole disrespect um, for lack of a better word, uh, disrespect towards the black cats that there's, that there's like the discrimination going on, right? Um, 
So that's interesting. And um, that she cut off this one guy's legs. <laughs> I like that. I hope we see more of that. I really hope so. I hope that it's not like, okay, we shocked the audience that watches this for the first time or whatever. We shocked them with this brutalness and darkness a bit. And then after that, it just like fades away and it becomes way more happy and good vibes and stuff. And then we have just some action. So I hope that keeps it constant, right? And yeah, <clears throat> the dwarf knows about intelligent weapons. So like I said, at the end now, I think that it's probably something normal in this world and nothing unheard of, right? Because otherwise I would guess he would be way more surprised if there's only this one intelligent weapon. Um, so yeah, I guess there are more weapons that can be like that, maybe. I don't know. I guess we will find out next episode when he maybe confrontates Fran and will maybe talk about it. Maybe then he will be like, oh my god, I've never seen something like this. Where did you get it? So we will see. But yeah, um, let me let me check in the episode really quick. Man, I went right, right into my dance for this episode and didn't check anything. Um... Let me see. <clears throat> and yeah, there where uh, the sword came from. Um, because he killed all the strong monsters and everything and killed everything, basically. Um, all the weaker monsters just ran away from that place, right? And now they go somewhere else and uh, wreak havoc, right? And that is dangerous for like normal people that just want to go from A to B so yeah because of the sword others have to suffer from it and yeah I mean I like Nell like I said well let's get to Nell and the adventure guild I mean it's from what we get so far it's a basic adventure guild right you have the ranking system from S to G and Randall that was riding the carriage that she would be E, but I mean, we know that that's not true because it was just goblins she fought. She can fight stronger, so she's way higher than E, right? Um, and it's basically like a normal guild system, but what I think is very interesting is Nell because normally the receptionist in a guild is always nice, right? It has because basically they need the adventurers to do the jobs so that they can get money, I guess, and offer the jobs and everything that this whole thing works so they have basically often the best interest for the adventurers in mind right are, not, are nice give them advice and all this stuff and then we have nell here who is like yeah, i hope you all die <laughs> i like her i hope we see more of her um so i think that's kind of interesting that we have a receptionist that is so different from like other receptionists in adventure girls that we saw in different anime um but i mean she tries to keep up a good appearance right that she is nice and all that stuff and yeah we saw that the sword our sword is not that strong that here in this first town already are many swords that are like equally strong or only a tiny bit weaker or quite a bit stronger we saw like of this uh Donar Drond, whatever his name was, the Oni, and we saw his weapon is like almost twice as strong. And I mean, it also proves that strength is not all, right? Because our sword has all the skills, and because it has a mind of its own, they can use sword skills and magic at the same time. Like Nell said, normally you would need two brains to process both of it simultaneously, right? I mean, we don't know how much, how true that is. I guess there might be people that could do both without having a sword that can't think, right? By themselves. Um, but I mean, we don't know if it's impossible to do that kind of stuff, even if you don't have a sword that can't think and do all of that stuff. So maybe it is impossible, maybe it isn't, we don't know yet, but it seems pretty crazy. And because of that and all the skills the sword has she can fight this guy that has like a way stronger weapon so like i said the strength of our weapon is not just the pure power it has but also like all the skills and that it can think and all the possibilities it allows right <clears throat> with how they can fight and stuff so that's pretty cool 
a good showcase of that, I would say, that, I mean, he can, like, um, put skill points into stats, right? So he can put more stat points, skill points into attack, I would guess, right? Less health, more attack, and then he gets stronger anyway. Or maybe he just has to level up normally more. I don't know. And then, yeah. This one guy is a wood elf. I didn't check his name. What was his name? Uh, Klimt. Guildmaster Klimt. Um, yeah, he tried to appraise her, but our sword prevented that from happening, so he can't tell what's going on. But the spirits are like, yeah, she's nice. Nothing to worry about. But yeah, I mean, then she gets all the skill possible, like the... Um, um, the, 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 the class choices, right? Because she has all these different skills and talents because of the sword. And I would say, like I said, sword mage makes sense, right? I, ca I guess she can improve her swordsmanship with it and mage stuff with it. So it's basically perfect for her because she has ma magic and the sword skills. When you have like all that other stuff, I think sword mage seems the best for her. And then yeah, we had the dispute at the end, like I said, I liked how dark it was. Dark, it wasn't completely dark, but I mean, she cut off this one guy's legs. That was pretty dope. I thought the sword did it, but nope, it was her. So yeah, what it basically tells us too is that she has, she progresses fast, right? She sees something, she finds out about something and she can use it very quickly right she gets used to it and all that stuff because uh, our sword was surprised by it too that she just saw it like she just saw it when we fought the goblins at the beginning of the episode and now she already used it and combined and, and combined it with something else right so makes me very excited where we are going and like i said i think in the intro we saw her in front of a whole group of adventurers i guess so maybe that's her group she maybe gets at some point let me see let me see it. uh oh no maybe. let's see nope maybe not um we saw the only we fought in this episode and then we see a few other people so i guess that might just be some adventurers we see along the way right but yeah i'm, I'm still interested to see if we get like a group or something or if we will be alone all the time Maybe we have some, maybe we don't have a party we are with constantly, but maybe we get like some people that we go around with, right? Going to adventure jobs together for like one adventure or something and then we split up again. It will be interesting, but yeah, like I said, I can't wait to see more where it's going, the potential it has. Um, <clears throat> also in terms of like how dark it maybe can get and how brutal it can get. Definitely so far to surprise me. Like I said, I thought it would be more like chill vibes, maybe like not not something like beast hammer happiness, but like some some action, some good moments, right? I didn't expect it to be like this with the action and stuff and brut brutality and all that stuff. So yeah, definitely interested to see more. But I guess that's basically all about the episode. I loved it. Can't wait for more. So yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.